Meanwhile, Mary was complaining in front of Lisa. Ever since Roxy came into Belle's life, he began to focus all his attention on Rosie, either helping her find a husband or taking care of the kids. It's like Rohi is his fiance. Mary thought it was too late. They didn't know why Roxy was at the mansion, but they were determined to get Rohi away from Belle. And that's when it happened. Belle's mother told her son, ever since Roxy showed up here with her baby, her life had become meaningful. Every day she looks at Rashi and the baby. She's happy. Belle watched his mother's happiness. He also wanted Roxy to stay. Lisa watched Belle's mother hold Roxy's baby. Remind her not to forget, it's not her granddaughter. If you want grandchildren, you must hurry up and get Belle and Mary married. Aunt Belle is not kind to Rosie, said she was a woman who'd been dumped by a man. Even though Mama Belle stood up for her every time, but it broke Rosie's heart. She didn't know where her husband was. Why did he leave without saying goodbye? Did he really abandon her on purpose? When Belle saw Rashi's tears, he felt bad too. No matter where her husband is, he believed that no man would abandon a good woman like Roxy. Belle promised to help her find Nick. That day, Mary came to the mansion and saw that Belle was focusing her attention on Rosie. It made her jealous. Aunt Belle, Mary's aunt, saw her niece's concern. She went straight to Roxy and asked her how long she was going to stay here and when she could move out. Rosie had no choice but to start looking for work. It was the only way she could afford to move out. At this time, Belle received a call from the police. They found a body that looked like Nick's. When Belle and Rossi went there, Rossi looked at the disfigured body in front of her. She couldn't believe it was her husband. But when the police pulled out the artifacts, she froze. It was Nick's, the husband she'd been waiting for. And he was dead. She was devastated. At the mansion, Belle's family helped Rosie perform a ceremony for her husband, but she didn't know what to do with her daughter.